Hey everybody, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for our devotional. Today we're in Acts chapter seven, verses one through two. It reads this way. And the high priest said, are these things so? And Stephen said, brothers and fathers, hear me. Now, the speech that Stephen delivers here will be his last. By the end of the chapter, he will be executed by the Sanhedrin. Yet his speech here is of tremendous power and insight. Based upon what he has proclaimed publicly in the previous chapter, Stephen is then seized and officials claim that he is guilty of four accounts of religious blasphemy. The four accounts are heresy against God, Moses, the law, and the temple. But we all know that Stephen is not rejecting any of these things. He's actually in full support of them. And in his presentation, he turns the table on the Sanhedrin here, claiming that he's not the heretic, that they are. They are the real heretics because they have rejected Jesus, who is the fulfillment of all these things. So as you read this chapter, you're going to notice that Stephen's defense is a response to each one of these four charges and that he uses Jewish history, their own history, to prove his point. It's tough to even categorize Stephen's presentation as a defense. It's really an offensive move of the Holy Spirit indwelling a single brave man to bring an indictment against the Sanhedrin. And his ultimate point is this, that throughout history, religious leaders have always killed the prophets who came to deliver them, but that these people have done this to the Messiah himself, Jesus, who is the Christ. You know, I think death is always difficult, yet one out of one still dies. Some of us will die of old age, uh, maybe a disease or even a disastrous event. But Stephen does not die from any of these things. He dies defending his faith in Jesus Christ. You know, what a glorious way to depart this life and enter the next. He enjoys a short moment defending the Savior of the world and seconds later departs to see the Savior face to face. You know, I'd say that would be an incredible way to go. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this devotional today. Share it with someone you love and know. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.